Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. I am super excited because we are heading back to an old tutorial world today. This is one of my uh, oldest tutorial worlds um, at the time of this video. And uh, yeah, it holds some of my most precious builds so far. Now, that brings me on to my first thing. I am back in front of- Ah! I think I showed too much. I am back in front of- <laughs> Cute Godzilla just here. Ah, oh, look at him. He's so cute. Um, we're not going to be building Godzilla today. This is actually a tutorial already available on my channel, which you can find with a link in the description. Now, I couldn't just build Godzilla, could I? Like, that's that's like building, I don't know, Chewbacca without Han Solo, or Marty McFly without the Doc. You know, who does that? No one does that. So I had to, of course, build Kong. So now we have ourselves King Kong and Godzilla built in Minecraft. I mean... What more could you want? Nothing. It's that this is the peak <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna be building ourselves Godzilla today. Uh, this is of course for the new movie Godzilla versus sorry Godzilla and Kong now teaming up How badass is that for the new Empire and I have seen it in the cinema It is absolutely awesome and I highly recommend it to you guys as well So yeah, this is uh, following on from my original Godzilla over here of course is very very cute and I wanted to go ahead and do like a cute version of Kong as well so we have them to scale and you can have these guys posing like they're kind of battling it out or um hugging because they're cute and they, they look like they'd hug more than fight so um yeah a couple details on Kong we have of course the uh, the tooth and uh, in the movie there's a bit of a storyline with his tooth I won't explain too much but you can swap out this material here to make it look a little bit more like the film you also have his beard because he's looking a bit old and um just dilapidated in this new movie which is awesome and then we have ourselves the good old kong nips which is a very very you know serious part of the build we needed to add those in for emphasis that he's a naked gorilla why else would you do that um and of course you can add in yourself the uh the axe that kong does have in this new film as well just with the uh the left hand or right hand in kong's case just over here so yeah that is it we are going to get some materials and get started with our kong all right then guys, so taking yourself a big enough space away from anything else really, because of course Kong is very dangerous. You don't want him to be destroying all your other stuff. So, <laughs> and definitely keep him away from Empire State Buildings. So I hear he likes to climb them. We're gonna take ourselves muddy mangrove roots, some soul sand, some soul soil, some cobbled deep slate, some cobbled deep slate stairs, some polished deep slate slabs, polished deep slate stairs, polished blackstone buttons, of course for the nips, very, very important and black concrete as well. Now I'm gonna go in line with my original Kong over this way, this will do. I'm gonna take myself a stair this way around to begin with, and then one space away, another, one space away, another, and one space away, a fourth one. Now what I'm gonna do is start back on my first one, turn the corner back in, build another stair, and the opposite way around, do another one. And again for this foot over here, the same thing. Now we're going to build ourselves two cobbled deep slate blocks in between these two lots of stairs, but not here in the middle. And then we have ourselves two feet. Pretty cool stuff. Now we want to kind of bridge these across with a block. Now this is of course going to be material for the fur, and it's going to be these three materials here to build that sort of ape complexion. But we don't want to make things too confusing for us in the beginning. We just want to go ahead and build the structure of Kong, the absolute unit that is Kong's body, and then texture it up afterwards. So, we'll firstly take ourselves the uh, soul soil, because I think this is the best material as a sort of base material. And we'll build two blocks up here, three blocks here, and two blocks here. And the same over this way. Like so. We'll then come to this part just in here. And what I'm going to do is build forward firstly here, for these three, on each foot. Then one block here and here. So I've kind of incorporated the feet now into my build. And then I'm going to come into this gap here for one, and here, one, and bridge across for a third one. And then I'll build forward for those three there. I'll then come to this one and build one, two, and one, two, and three in the middle of this uh, two on the sides to build five. So three, then five. And now I'm going to take myself just here by building one and one like so and here I can start by building the sort of upper chest area where we have the pecs the eight uh, abs and you know all that crazy stuff so we'll take ourselves upside down polished deep slate stairs on the ends 
a block built with the slab in the middle, three blocks built with the slabs in the middle here, stairs on the ends upside down facing forward, and then we'll do ourselves two blocks here, two blocks the other side with one gap in the middle, and then we want to do a normal stair here and here, with of course nipples beneath them with the uh, polished blackstone buttons. Then we want to take ourselves Kong's kind of beard because we're trying to make him look old. So we'll take ourselves two blocks of soul sand forward. And then we'll do two lots of three just above that here for the beard coming out. Of course, that's going to be textured so it won't look like the legs down here or the bottom of the belly. Perfect. Now we're going to spin ourselves around to the side to be able to build Kong's arms. So for the massive arms of Kong, we will come around to his right side. If we were him, it's going to be his right side. So we'll come around here. We'll come down to the foot firstly, and we'll build this second block back upwards to three blocks high, and then two behind it like so. So we're in line on this outer row. And you can actually copy this on the other side. So remember, add one in here, and two, oh, two blocks down here out forward, like that. Awesome. We need these legs to look like they're really, really muscular at the bottom, so they can really hold up his entire weight. We'll take a block back here, and a block here, so it goes back in one block. And then we'll add in three blocks just on that next row up, like so. We'll join these up on the back and join these down on the back by three. So we build diagonally down basically. That looks awesome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to build from the top down just a little bit to add a bit more detail. So it's going to be just leaving a block gap here, adding in three here to come three out. And again, forward on this side. Three out, just like so. Hell yeah, looking good. What I'm next gonna do is I wanna take myself around to the opposite side. So we'll go around to Kong's left foot if we were Kong. I'm gonna take ourselves up here. I'm gonna go with another three blocks here, but come out one block on the left side, the left top that is, and build this one out by one more block here, and then one, two, this way. So we're sort of building where the shoulder will be. Now if you want to copy this on the other side, feel free. So it's going to be one, two, three. Then we'll do one, two, three, kind of curved around that corner there. And we'll come out a block just on the front side here like so. So we know that's where the arm is going to really pop out to come to the front here. Like that. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Now I'm spinning back around to my left foot over here. So remember Kong's facing this way left foot is over here. I'm going to go ahead and build this one out forward by another two, three, four blocks just in here. So I've just added three blocks on there. And I want to fill this gap in here by adding in one, two, one, two, and one block just there. Uh, there could be another one in here, but I'm not too sure at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it off. So I have that there. Round here, I'm going to do the same thing. This one, one, two, three, add it on so it's now four. One, two, one, two, one. Just like so. The arms do come out the same amount of length, it's just the hands that do change up. Of course, this one is kind of on its side gripping something that's going vertically, and this one is in a bit of a fist shape. So uh, if anything, they only just change with the hands. Back to the uh, left foot over here and the left arm. I'm going to come to the... Uh, ooh, let's just have a look at this. Everything's looking good, just want to double check things. I'm going to come to the inner arm, just over here, and I will start to double this up just by two blocks in here, one block forward in here, and I'm going to drop down just beneath this to kind of build in one, two here, one, two here, and another two just there. Looking good. I'm going to build two blocks in here, two blocks up here next to the steps. So we've got this coming down like that now. And I'm also going to place two blocks in here, like that. Let's do this a little bit slower on the other side. So if we go in the arm here, one, two blocks in here, one, two forward. Bring the forward twos down and go back for all three of those. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to build next to the button, just here and here. And I'm going to build two lots 
are blocks up next to the stair, up here like that. So he's really looking bulky, muscular, and like he's hitting the gym every single day. <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> there we go. All right. The next thing we can do is take ourselves some shoulder muscles. So we're going to come up here behind the steps and we'll go one, two, three, and build a block in here. And over this way, behind the stair, one, two, oops, two, three, and one here. And I'm also going to build this up by a layer. Like that. <laughs> this looks so weird, but it's, it's going to be awesome when it's done. Especially because it's all the same material right now. It does look a little bit ugly, but uh, we will correct this. Sorry, Kong, I didn't mean to call you ugly. Please don't smash me to pieces. <laughs> now we turn ourselves to the back of Kong. And we want to go ahead and kind of incorporate what we've done um, just here. Now, luckily, we do have a lot of blocks to suggest where things should be already. Uh, so that's going to come in useful for us. So we're going to build five blocks in here. Obviously, we're going to incorporate these two on the ends to build seven for two. Like that. And then we want to go at the top here for another five, then three, and then a singular one. If you spin around from this one to come forward again, you build three blocks behind the one. That will go up for two lots. Like so. Down here at the bottom of uh, Kong's spine, we just want to go ahead and kind of close it up here by adding in one, two, three. One, two, three on the feet like so. And in here for the belly, one, two. Like that. Super simple stuff. No one's really going to pay attention to that area, so you're not going to have too much worry about that. So for this next bit, we need to go ahead and make sure we have the sort of roof height. I'm going to call this the roof height. It's actually the top of Kong's dome. So up here on his head. <laughs> we need to get ourselves the uh, forehead correct, so we're going to make sure to place the eyes in the correct position and have enough space for our mouth here. So we come to the back of our Kong over here. We have this one block here that's really, really useful for our, you know, dimensions and stuff so we have one block here that we don't want to touch either so those two they're absolutely fine we'll come forward by building three here and then three in a line just like that just up from it now this is going to be our max height this one up here you can build this three forward for another three and another three just over here so it kind of goes in line with where the stairs are and the first part of the mouth here that's perfect now what I'm going to do is switch around to, obviously I'm at the front now, so I'm going to switch around to the side here. This is over this, uh, well, Kong's left foot over here. And luckily this is symmetrical, so you don't have to t worry too much about all this section. I'm going to come down here and build three, then three, and then three just over here. So I'm over where the stairs are and obviously the soul sand in the middle, soul soil in the middle, just like so. I'm going to cut up this uh, gap here, obviously it's now two blocks, I want it to just be one, so I'm going to fill it in instead, just by adding three blocks there. But I'll come out on the sides by one block on each to build my ears. Then I'll take myself my black concrete in here, and a space away here. Then I'll make a polished deep slate block just here with my slabs. And look at him, he looks really cute, oh actually he looks so derpy like that, that's funny. And then we'll take ourselves slabs here cross the top so he's now kind of angry you know looking cool and we'll do slabs on the ends like that to give a real like definition of the eyebrow now you can remove the slabs that are on the blocks as well to give him a bit more of a comical look but it's up to you guys whatever you wish to do feel free i kind of like him in both to be honest like i haven't really made up my mind which i prefer maybe we'll build this one with the eyes open like that and obviously my original one is the uh, the other way around down here, you want to build yourself three deep state blocks just beneath the eyes like that. So it really outlines the gorilla kind of face in there like so. We'll take ourselves black concrete back in here for where the uh, the mouth should be. So three blocks in there. <laughs> it just looks more funny the more I look at it. And there we go. Right. Now we're going to do the, the hands because we've done the rest of the body. And that will allow us to uh, complete up the texturing just in a moment as well. So the best thing for the uh, hands over here is to take a stair upside down here and then turn with the stair over here. Now this is the polished deep stone stair, by the way. So that's going to be like a, a thumb just there. And then we'll take two fingers by stacking stairs just on the left side like so. Super, super simple hand, just like that. Now the other hand is pretty easy as well. 
we do two stacked up normal stairs on the far uh, right side over here. And then we'll do two upside down stairs stacked together for like a fist kind of shape. So like the knuckles are kind of not quite connected, but uh, they are, you know, bridging together like that. <laughs> he looks like he's like missing his teeth. He's been to the dentist and there's been like some type of bad problem. And then he's like coming out of that. Like, oh, I can't shake now. <laughs> so there we go. Right, we'll take ourselves some new materials and complete up Kong. Keep these three materials, those guys. The uh, muddy mangrove roots, soul sand, and your soul soil. We'll use them in a moment, but we'll get some new materials for the rest of Kong. Okay, so to finish up Gummy Kong over here, we'll take ourselves the muddy mangrove roots, like I said before, the soul sand, the soul soil, smooth quartz stairs, pointed dripstone, smooth quartz slabs, and finally some mangrove trapdoors as well. You're going to fold these trapdoors down the sides of the ears, just like that. Gives a bit more definition, you know, makes them look like proper earlobes there. We'll take ourselves a quartz slab at the back with a pointed dripstone this way from the ground up. Now we'll do ourselves an upside down stair this way at the far back in the middle, like that. And then a pointed dripstone from the roof down like that. That is actually the way Kong's mouth is. He's got teeth kind of coming in and out up and down and then we'll stick another kind of fang just here with our quartz like that now kong does have much worse teeth than this i was being very generous um insert gorilla angry noises here but um <laughs> we wanted to go ahead and give him a little bit you know a little bit more of a clean look for this then we'll go ahead and texture this this all up by adding in ourselves the uh, soul sand we'll do this firstly just place it in random spots you don't have to have any you know pattern to this or anything like that just now we have the body here, we can really just take these randomly. No problem at all. Oops. And once you've textured the, these all up, you go ahead and swap obviously with your mangrove roots and uh, do the exact same thing. And once all of these materials are in here mixed together, it looks absolutely awesome. It looks way better than, you know, the uh, sole soil in here alone. It's important to get this done in all spots. You know, try not to miss anywhere if you can. Bit tricky, I know. Even on the inner sides, don't forget this inner side up here, as this is obviously going to be seen as well. Anywhere you're going to see Kong's body needs to be textured. So I think that's all good with the uh, soul sand here. So I'm now going to take my mangrove roots and do a similar thing. Now, I'm not going to place them too often, but just enough so you can see there is a different kind of design here. Now I don't want two blocks to be exactly the same together because I do feel like that's a bit much um, but I do want to add them in quite regularly if I can just to give a nice illusion that we're making fur here like so. Up here on the head I did forget to texture a little bit so you can just add in some more up here. Mangrove roots around this side. You see what I mean? It's starting to really take shape now. And it's so easy to do, like, there's a lot of times in Minecraft builds and stuff where all you need to do to make a build really, really pop out, even if it's a cool build already, is just go ahead and do a little bit of texturing. And you can really change the entire look of a build. Now, one thing I will say is don't have too many soul sounds together because they kind of have holes in them, or the appearance of holes. And obviously that doesn't look very good when we're, uh, we're trying to do what we're trying to do here. So I recommend just maybe... Uh, for this one, I might just do that there. Yeah, it looks a bit better. So yeah, as you can see, I haven't gone to town with it, really. I've just done enough where I need to do enough. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this so far. It's looking good. Maybe a little bit under the ear there. Maybe even a soul sand down there. Piece there. This is probably the most time-consuming part, but, like I said, totally worth it. It'll look awesome when it's done. If you want to go ahead and texture where the dripstone is, you can always replace it too. Like that. And then obviously on the front of the arms, don't forget these. Looking cool. Another piece in there. And then I think I'm good to go. I think I'm happy with this. Finally. <laughs> You can never be too happy with it, to be honest. It's one of those, you probably will come back a few times to do different things. As you can see on this one, it's obviously completely different. 
But um, I like both of these equally now, so that's good. So yeah, there we go, that is it. So as you can see, you can now make up your mind. If this one looks cooler to you, build that one. If this one looks cooler to you, build this one. It is up to you guys. And well, there we have it. We now have ourselves the big old gorilla man and the big old dinosaur man built in Minecraft. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for another awesome movie tutorial guys. I really do appreciate it Like I said the new Godzilla uh, Kong movie is called the new Empire and it's absolutely awesome I totally recommend going to see it in the cinema It is definitely an epic film like you need to go and see it on a massive screen with massive booming speakers because it is just badass um, When is a Kong or Godzilla movie not badass? That's what I want to know like, you don't watch it for the people, you don't watch it for the acting, you watch it to see these two destroy as many landmarks as possible. <laughs> and there was that iconic scene in the new film as well. Uh, for those that haven't seen, click off now. But there's a really cool scene where Godzilla, like, chooses to sleep in the uh, Colosseum. That's, like, his pet bed, uh, which is pretty cute. So, go check it out, it's awesome. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this one, please drop a like on it. I would try and make a, a like kind of hand with Kong, but he might get angry. So, pretend there's a like hand here. And drop a like on the video, that'd be awesome. If you guys want to stick around for future Universal Studio tutorials, um, is this even made by Universal Studios? I have no idea. Pretend I didn't say that. If you guys have enjoyed this type of tutorial, please go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> join the Assassin Hood today for free, and uh, it would be awesome to have you join our guild. You can also follow me up on social medias for my portfolio of all the rest of my other builds. Um, so something might cho choose your pick your fancy over there. And, uh, yeah, keep you busy for, uh, for weeks to come until I have some new builds similar to these ones. So, yeah, go and check those out. But, yeah, have a good one, guys. Goodbye for now. And I'll see you at the next Wheelie Assassin Guide coming very, very shortly. See you later.